Hi guys, thanks so much for joining me on Jewel Tones. I'm here with Marilyn Okoro. She's an amazing Team GB athlete and we're here just to share some of her amazing tips. Marilyn, you're a professional athlete. Everyone wants to know, what do you eat every day? Because I'm thinking it's not deep fried Mars bars. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> that doesn't even sound nice. Yeah. Um, I am partial to the odd slice of cheesecake, but uh, not deep, deep fried Mars bars. <laughs> um, you know, you know my, my diet is very rigid and disciplined, um, especially as I get in the thick of my training but my key focus is to make sure I'm taking on enough calories and making sure I'm really well fueled for all the exercise I do every week so for example typical day I would start with granola and natural yogurt um, I love chocolate so I try and incorporate it where I can so really a, little, a little cheat would be like gr um, chocolate flavored granola um, Dorset cereals do a really nice one I and love healthy. that yeah mm -hmm. oh, oh, oh. Um, so with some natural yogurt um, I start my day with a cup of green tea which is really good for um, burning fat and um, sometimes a black coffee just to be alert, especially by Wednesday. I'm kind of sleepy in the morning. So you wouldn't um, do milk in the coffee? <clears throat> no, yeah. straight black coffee. Oh, right. <laughs> Not too often though. Yeah. Um, and then I would probably have a mid-morning snack along with my recovery shake, depending on what session I've had. Um, Kit Kat? Kit Kat? Yeah, I'm not a Kit Kat fan. Maybe well, a Twix, a Twix day. <laughs> no, they're like, <laughs> okay, what's, obviously I'm a chocoholic. <laughs> what is a good healthy mid-morning snack? Um, a banana. Okay, yeah, because that's energy, um, isn't it? Yeah, and you can put a little bit of Nutella on there, Ooh. just a teaspoon, yeah. um, if you do like chocolate like me. So I always try and work it in there. I said to my nutritionist, look, we're not parting with chocolate. So let's <laughs> just Because I think it's realistic. It's yeah. like when you start cutting stuff you love, it just mm. makes you want it more. So the key is, is not to go too long without food because then you kind of creep into that starvation point and then you're just like, give me anything and often the quickest thing is not healthy mm -hmm. um so yeah so lunch for me i love mackerel very good <laughs> oily for fish good for your skin and your good hair for the skin and your hair nails. and bones and joints and all that stuff so and it's tasty um, and that goes with a lot of things brown basmati rice um spinach anything green kale spinach just fill your plates with greens um, that's kind of a good way to be satisfied and full. And then dinner, um, depending on what training, if I've had a heavy training day, then I'll have some more carbs in the evening, sweet mm -hmm. potato, a bit more rice. Um, so clean canola. carbs? Yes, always. Do you do pasta, not pasta or anything like that? I don't have pasta that often, which I know a lot of people are like, but do you run? But um, for me, you know, I don't want too much carbs sticking yeah. to my muscles and I just like to have what I enjoy. So I love spaghetti bolognese, so every now and again I'll have pasta that way, but generally I stick to sweet potato and, really and basmati rice. <laughs> Amazing, so yeah. a clean diet and it mm -hmm. makes you, it's fuel, isn't it? Yes, and yeah. just drinking lots of water, you'll be surprised. I'm actually not very good at drinking water. I've had to really <laughs> train myself to make sure I'm taking on enough, but that helps, you know, making sure everything's moving nicely and the blood circulating and, and it helps you stay satisfied with your meal as well. Fantastic, and for you, when it comes to weight and diet, you're thinking, you're your, your body's a machine rather than cosmetic or how do you see your body oh yes I definitely have to you know remember it it's my job and my body is is, is what I work with and so sometimes aesthetically <laughs> when you want to wear that nice floaty dress it's not always going to look how I'd like <laughs> but um, you know at the end of the day this is you know it's my temple and it's helps me achieve what I you know try to achieve on the track so I have to look after it and I have to be kind to her oh well fantastic I'll be cheering you in Rio doing the samba for you uh, <laughs> good you. luck and uh, bring home gold yeah, <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much Marilyn bye, bye. <laughs>